Hello, my friends. My name is Justin Sanginito. My name is Roberto Correa, Gordo. Yes, we are here to teach you the latest Jiu-Jitsu innovations about Half Guard. Since he's the creator of the grass and, in effect, Half Guard, we're just going to cover that. So pay attention because the details are very important. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, guys, now uh, Gordo. It's gonna show us how to bring your arm, one way to bring your arm under your opponent's arm. Because actually, the most time, 9% of time, you have to bring your arm under your opponent's arm. You can create more leverage. It becomes easier to apply the positions, okay? So pay attention to the detail. Okay, imagine the guy on top goes here, under the arm, okay? And Put a lot of weight in here. What he's gonna do? First thing, he's gonna push a little bit my leg here. Why? Again, to create space. Because all the time, all the time, the guy on top keeps your back on the ground playing. It's not good for him. He gotta go a little bit on his side. Okay, like that, exactly. To create space, create leverage. So, he's back on the ground here. The guy on top. Chest to chest, my arm under his arm. Right away, put his elbow exactly. Put his elbow here and start to move his or hip. elbow. Or elbow or hands. Or hands, okay. And start to move the hip a little bit that side. Okay. Now he's gonna bring his arm to the side here to my neck and put his hand on my shoulder. Okay? And lift it up. Okay. What happened here? He's creating space for his arm under my arm. But sometimes the guy on top is very, very strong. So even with, with your arm pushing up here, the guy can bring you down again. So as soon as you create a little space here, you're gonna bring your knee here. It's gonna give you more leverage to keep the guy away from you. So the guy is here. He's pushing my neck here, his hand on my elbow. Now he's gonna sweep, shift his arm this direction here, under my arm. Okay, he got it. Now he has more leverage to apply the position. Okay, one more time, full position. Start here, under, great space. My neck, control my, el my elbow and bring the knee side. All right, now if I try to put him down, I can't. Now he's shift the arm, shift the arm under this direction, under my arm. Okay, okay. Right away, right away when he gets this position here, the natural reflex, the guy on top, is try pushing him down again. Try put his back on the ground. So right away he's gonna do a little bridge here and throw with that side. Exactly. And then go to my back. Right there. One more time. Full position. On the hand. Great space. Pay attention guys, because he doesn't use strength, he uses bad moves, okay, bad leverage, alright? So, even if you have a 
big guy, strong guy on top of you, you can't create space. You can't apply this position. Okay, one more time. Another. Go to the back. Now, I'm going to do a transition here for another position, actually, another variation, okay? So, he goes under me here, okay? Now he moves his hip away to create space. Then, with his left hand, he's going to control my ankle here. Boom, all right? Now, with his right hand I mean he's gonna get he's gonna slide under me now to create more leverage and then reach with his right hand the same end you see now he's gonna let go with his left hand and go to his elbow all right now he's gonna place his hand on the ground now he's gonna put me down how pushing the ground and pushing me with his shoulder controlling my ankle You can call this uh, inverse, reverse game, okay? I was on top, and now I'm not on the bottom. Again. First create space, he's light under me. You see how he's light under me? You repeat that. I'm here, try putting pressure here. Try to keep his back on the ground. He's going to move his knee, he's light down. Slide under me and control my ankle, and then with his right hand, control the same ankle. Now bring his left arm. Now he's gonna place his right, his left hand, and push with his shoulder. He put me down and reverse the game. One more time. Pass the guard right away. One more time. Just one detail here, guys. To his, to his, to, to, for him, it's like under me, he used this movement here with the arm again. Remember? Same move of the other position. Same move of the other position, exactly. So he goes here under my arm, control my head, plus, put me there. You see? Your hand go here. My ankle. Control. And put it down here. Okay, let's change side. Vai ter que fazer de lado? Pode ir nessa mão. This head? Go. This way. Here, go. Ankle, yes. I'll push the ground, push it down, and pass my guard right away. One more time. position because he's gonna try one move I'm gonna react and then he's gonna sweep me from that reaction so I'm mean, here his arm is under my arm he's gonna try open his arm and throw that way to get my balance off and get to my back but as soon as he does that I'm gonna react and throw my weight on top of his chest here you see now what happened here? He's gonna control my belt. 
is going to move his zip away from me and hook my leg inside with the foot. You know that? And bring his hip back and get closer. Right? Now, guys, he's going to try sit up. How? Sometimes it's hard for the guy on the ball to sit up just trying lifting the upper body here. The guy keep the chest here blocking the guy. He's going to kick forward his foot, the foot he has inside, the hook foot. He's going to kick forward and make me uh, walk back here and sit up. Another detail, he's going to kick his shoulder touching my chest. Because if I create space here, I'm gonna avoid the swing. So you gotta keep me very close, very tight here. Now it's easy because he's gonna put his shoulder, his elbow on the shoulder on the ground, control my elbow, of course, control my arm here. And also another detail, this leg here. Don't bring this leg outside. You keep this leg like that. So as soon as he put his elbow and shoulder on the ground, he's gonna kick this leg, this foot here up and sweep me that side. And mount the guy if you can. Again, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna throw my weight, control, move the hip, hook my leg inside, bring the hip back, get closer, sit up, kick the, the leg, yes, control my arm now, very good. Finish the sweep, the, the position with the sweep. One more time, full speed now. Same thing, under my arm, try to throw that side, I throw my weight here, remove the hip away, hook my leg, get closer, sit up, kicking this leg forward, control my arm, and sweep. Do the same thing. He's gonna try to that side. I'm gonna react, and he's gonna move his hip away, hook my leg inside, bring his hip back, and try to sit up. Okay. When he tries to sit up here, I'm gonna keep my weight on top of him here. Okay. And I'm gonna stretch my leg to give me more power to keep him. On this position here, because when he tries it up, tries it up, I'm gonna lift my leg to keep my weight, all my weight on top of him, keep him, keep him on the ball like that. Right away, he's gonna control my leg. You see here, he hooked my leg under my leg with his arm. Now, what's going on here? I'm off balance. I'm off balance here. Now, he's gonna sweep that side, how? He's gonna bring a little bit his hip, that's this side here, and use, exactly, and use his hook foot, keep me that side. And another detail is, this position, you end up on the side control, not inside the guard.
pay attention because he's doing the same thing he did before. But I react when he tried to sit up and sweep it. I react how? Throwing my chest and bring my leg. And then another option. So hook the leg inside and sweep the other leg, the other side. One more time. Okay, guys, again, we start in the same position, half guard, and again, he's hooking, he's, he's grabbing my, my, my left leg. So, on the same side, the same side, he's going to bring his arm under my arm. Okay, boom. All right, what happened here? I'm going to react now. When I feel the danger, he's, he tries to open space to hook my leg try to uh, uh, sweep me, I'm going to stand up. Some guys, uh, when they feel the, 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 the danger, they stand up right away to create space, to move the guy away from them, okay? So right here, when, when I feel good uh, acting or try to open space, I'm going to stand up right away. Okay, right away, he's going to control my sleeve here, low sleeve here, sit up. You see, he put the elbow on the ground to give leverage, all right. Now, he controls my, my belt here. He's gonna give my arm to his hand under my legs here. You see? Boom, all right. What happened here? My natural reflex is step with this leg forward to put my knee on his stomach and keep his back on the ground. <clears throat> like that, you see, pushing him here, his shoulder, his neck here. All right, to avoid that, Right away, when he controls my arm, he's gonna block. I cannot step forward, so I'm off balance here. And in very, very uncomfortable position, right? Okay, next step. He's gonna bring, he's gonna throw his back to the ground, shift the back to the ground here, and try and throw his head in between my legs. And right away, he's gonna control behind my joint here, behind my knee. And going to sweep with that side. Okay guys, as you can realize, uh, many positions from half guard depend how the guy on top reacts. <coughs> so, good got me under my arm, and then I feel danger, and then right away, I stand up here. Okay, he controls my arm. He has my belt controlled here. He let go my belt, go under my legs and give my arm to the other hand, all right? Now to avoid, I put his back again to the ground. He blocked my step here. Because if he doesn't, I'm gonna control him here and push him back to the ground. Even with my arm uh, uh, trapped here, okay? So from here, right away, he blocked my, my step. So I cannot step forward here, right? I'm off balance. Next step, he's gonna put his back on the ground this way and try bring his head in between my legs. On the same time, he's gonna control under, behind my knee, my joint here. So from here, he goes here, boom. Look his head. To the guy. And sweep.
again, I'm going to react him how? Standing up. Okay, now what happened here? He's going to try to give my arm to his other hand under my legs here. But I'm going to react. I'm not going to let him give my arm in between my legs here. Okay, he keep, keep control and I bring my arm up here. Okay, what happened now? He's going to control my belt and give to the other hand under my leg. Or he can control my gi and give to the other hand under my leg. The same thing. Now, he's going to place his hand on the ground and stand up right away. And single leg. Put me down here. Drive me down. One more time. Very slow. And pay attention to the tail. To the tail, yes. Again, I'm going to react to sitting up. By the way, he controls, he tries to give my arm to the other hand. I react. And then he controls my belt. Very tight. Very tight, exactly. Or he controls my gi. Right? Boom. Place the hand on the ground, stand up, and control my leg. Now he drives me down, because a single leg. One more time. posição parecida com a outra, só quando eu vou tentar pegar a gola por baixo da perna, ou a, a gola ou a faixa, o cara vai cruzar o braço aqui na minha gola e vai jogar o peso, então vai me dificultar de pegar a faixa, pegar a, a faixa aqui por baixo. Ok, so, similar position here, but when he tries to control my belt or the collar to give to the other hand between the leg here, I'm gonna cross my arm and control his belt and try to keep his body, his back on the ground. Então eu vou abrir a gola aqui bem, entregar para outra mão aqui por trás das costas, bem justo, bem ajustado. Ok, so he's gonna open my gear here, ok, and give this collar around my body to the other hand. Agora eu vou apoiar o tubo no chão. Ok, now he's gonna place his elbow on the ground. E vou rodando para as costas igual a outra posição. Alright. And now he's gonna push me with the shoulder and force me to go to the ground like that. To a the diferença ball. agora é que por causa do braço dele, eu tenho dificuldade de ir para cima. Então eu vou apoiar minha mão no chão e vou caminhar com as pernas para as costas dele. Ok. Because I have my arm here, crossing here, it's hard to him go to my back. The difference is he's gonna walk behind my back and go to the other side and up the position side control. Place the hand yes place the hand to give level. Vou tentar pegar a gola, ele vai cruzar o braço, não vai deixar. Okay, he tries to get the collar in between my legs, I cross the arm and control his collar to avoid that and keep his back to the ground. Vou abrir bem a gola, pegar para outra mão. Okay, he controls my collar go around my body and give to the other hand. Place the elbow on the ground, hand on the ground, go on his knees. Now he walks towards my back 
and end up in site control. I'm gonna keep my weight on top of him and avoid him to go on top of me and control this arm here, controlling this arm. Avoid his elbow on the ground. Eu vou apoiar meu pé direito, pé aqui de trás no chão, para fazer uma ponte para cima dele, tentar ir para cima. Ok, he's gonna fake a move here. He's gonna place his right foot and push and try a little bridge this direction here. This shoulder. On his left shoulder here. What happened? My natural reflex reaction. I'm gonna push him back. That Now side. I roll for the other side and pull his his collar. Okay. 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 Same position here. Importante a bola aqui atrás está bem justa nessa posição. Okay, Todas as so duas, tá? The very, the, as duas posições. Ok. Very important detail. You control the collar very, very tight. Ok? So keep the guy with you tight. Alright. Now I control his arm here to avoid him to put his knee on the ground and go on top of me. Fazer uma ponte para cima dele. He, do a little, he does a little bridge here, so I push him the opposite way. Agora eu vou rodar puxando a gola para mim. He's gonna roll the other side. Because he, he takes advantage. Because I'm pushing him that side. Just roll to the other side. Essa posição, independente do peso do adversário, é fácil, porque você usa o peso dele para rodar. Ok. This, pos this position here, especially, uh, is easy to apply because you, you use your opponent's uh, weight against himself. Because when he tries bridge this side, I'm going to throw my weight the opposite way to avoid that. So he uses my own weight to apply the position. Vou começar a posição na mesma forma das outras, tentando ir com esse braço por dentro e para as costas do cara aqui. Ok, he's gonna start on the same position, his arm under my arm here, ok? And he's gonna try go to my back. How? Remember, throwing the arm this way and get me off balance and get my back. Alright. So, geralmente quando eu, boto, quando eu vou forçar aqui, o cara vai levantar a perna para se defender okay. muitas vezes. Ok. Actually, Uh, when, when he tries to get the back like that, my reflex is step forward here to avoid that. Aproveitando que ele levantou a perna, vou dom fazer um domínio aqui com, a, com esse braço, por dentro da perna dele, entrar o meu corpo e puxando a perna dele ao mesmo tempo até chegar no ombro. All right. From that position, as soon as the guy step forward, he's gonna hook the leg inside, okay, and bring my leg on top of the shoulder. That's a detail here, pay attention, because you cannot keep the leg here, right here. 
You gotta bring the leg until here. Shoulder. A primeira coisa que eu tenho que fazer quando eu boto a perna aqui é ter um bom domínio dos braços dele. Então essa mão eu vou dominar. Se por acaso a mão estiver apoiada no chão alguma coisa, eu seguro com essa e passo para essa mão. Tem que ter um bom domínio desse braço. Agora que eu dominei o primeiro bem, vou procurar dominar o segundo. Ok. Ele está dizendo, after you put, you put the leg on top of the shoulder, you have to have a good control of the arms. Okay, so if the guy have both arms like that, with this hand here, it's gonna help. It's gonna take my arm and take, give the other hand here. After he has a good control, he's gonna control the other one. Now, control, eu vou controlar o outro. E a primeira opção que eu tenho, quando ele continua com o peso onde está, dependendo de onde estiver o peso dele, é o lado que eu vou, vou, vou tentar raspar. Okay, now that's the, the, the important part here. Uh, he got me on the situation he wants, okay? My leg on top of his shoulder and both arms controlled, okay? Now depends where I'm gonna place my weight. If the guy is a little bit forward like I'm now, he's gonna sweep with that side. Just control the arm. Vou sair o meu quadril. Sempre pro lado oposto, do lado que eu vou jogar e puxar o braço. Alright. Já quero aqui numa boa posição para passar a guarda. Ok, go back there. Let me see. Alright. Both arms controlled. He's gonna escape his hip, move his hip that side and sweep me that side. The other side here. And he has a good position to pass my guard already. Now, what happened? He's gonna try to sweep that side, but the guy to avoid that to defend, he's gonna throw his weight back there. When he tries, like that, throw his weight like that. And then, eu vou, como eu falei, eu vou sair o quadril pro lado oposto, botar o meu joelho aqui na altura do estômago dele, vou jogar nesse lado, sempre dominando os braços, tá? Importante. Ok. Again, go back here. So the second option here, he tries to sweep on that side and then to, to react that to avoid that, I'm gonna throw my weight this side. Right away, he's gonna move his hip the opposite side and sweep it this one. Bring the knee side here. And always you gotta have a good control of the arms. He tries one side, the other side, and the guy stand up like that. Vou botar um gancho aqui e o outro cruzando por baixo. All right. Right away, he has both arms controlled. Okay. The guy stand up like that. I'm giving, I'm giving him enough space to hook my leg, and with the other, the other leg here, he cross his feet and hook the same leg. Agora eu vou esticar minhas pernas e sento, eu, ao mesmo tempo que eu estico as pernas, eu vou sentar raspando ele. Fine, fine. So now he's gonna kick both legs uh, uh, ahead, forward, and sit up at the same time. Put me down. to repeat all the options a few times.
Espero que essas posições ajudem no seu jiu-jitsu. E nós temos também a fita de passagem de guarda, partindo da minha guarda. Ok, guys. We hope that those positions improve, help to improve your jiu-jitsu. And we also have the third tape, another tape, that Gordo covers a lot, passing the guard from half guard. And we hope you have enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Good job.